Good morning everyone, my name's Amy and this little cute one is Björk. Welcome to our episode of Amy and Björk's Magical Lockdown Adventures. During this video we are going to be sharing with you guys how we have been surviving lockdown with zero income and no savings. So stay tuned and find out about our amazing lockdown survival hack. But first though, it's time for Björk's morning walk. It's week five of lockdown in the UK. Both of my workplaces here in Glastonbury have been forced to close down, which has left me without a job and no money coming in this entire last month. How the hell are we still alive, I hear you cry. So without further ado, our lockdown survival hack is surviving through the art of foraging. Protection is very important, guys. Okay, I am officially double gloved. I have to try my best now not to sting my ankles. I am very happy to inform you that my double winter glove technique works perfectly. Luckily, I don't have to go far to forage the sticky willy because it just grows exactly where the nettles grow. Springtime is probably the best time of year for foraging wild foods. Wild plants like these are in abundance and their leaves are young, so harvesting them now makes them tastier. Okay guys. Let's get cooking. For our wild willy survival soup, we have had to buy only three ingredients from the shop. One onion, one leek, and two potatoes. The survival soup forage finds includes nettles, sticky willy, some lemon balm leaves, which we'll add at the end for a delicate hint of zinginess, and finally... 10 points to any of you country bumpkins who can tell me what these are these are ramsons aka wild garlic this beautiful plant can be eaten raw or cooked so we are going to use it both ways for our soup today and as well as looking beautiful the flowers are also edible and they taste amazing too so the first thing we're going to do is roughly chop the onion the leek and the two potatoes The next job is to saute the onion and the leek in some olive oil. Whilst I'm sauteing, I'm gonna give you some fun facts about stinging nettles. Well, nettles happen to be one of the most useful plants. Their young tops are not only delicious and nutritious, but they are also a natural vitamin and mineral supplement. Medicinally, they can be used to treat a wide range of conditions, including anemia, arthritis, asthma, inflammation, kidney stones, and also urinary problems. Apparently, these babies are one of the best plants for human health. Our modern lifestyles can really do with the nutrition that nettles can offer. As we know, the mineral content of intensively farmed food has dramatically decreased over the last half century. Nettles have a very high vitamin C content and they also enhance natural immunity, helping us to fight against infection. An even more useful plant for the times, it seems.
Once the onion and the leek have softened, I can add some water and also the potatoes. Whilst the potatoes are cooking, I've picked the nettle leaves because we don't want to add the fibrous stalks. After that, I'll rinse them under some cold water. And then I'll do exactly the same with the sticky willy. For those of you interested, the technical name for sticky willy is cleavers. And 100 points goes to those who knew that sticky willy was even edible. This magical plant is a wonderful lymphatic system cleanser and helps rid the lymphatic system of metabolic waste. Basically, it's kind of like a pipe cleaner for our lymph vessels and is also useful for many mouth and throat problems. It also soothes irritated membranes of the urinary tract. And for any of you girls out there who suffer with the dreaded cystitis, this is going to be your best friend. Because it promotes the flow of urine and it is also cooling and soothing, these can be used to reduce heat and irritation of the urinary tract. I've added the nettle tops and the sticky willy, so now I think it's time to add some salt and pepper. I never use stock when I make soup, I don't think it's necessary at all, but I put lots of salt and pepper in to make up for it. And now I need to wash and prepare the wild garlic leaves, otherwise some of them are going to taste like bird poo. I've put the bigger, more mature garlic leaves into the soup now, and I'm going to save the younger, fresher ones to sprinkle on the top raw. Wild garlic is definitely one of my favorite plants to forage. To me, the flavor is divine, but its medicinal and health benefits are even better. Ramsons cleanse the body, and it helps to keep the heart and circulation healthy. It is one of the best medicines for bowel problems. It is a wonderful medicine for the digestive tract. Like I mentioned earlier, it is really good at balancing the gut flora and is beneficial in helping to relieve most forms of intestinal unhappiness. I am now blending the soup in my smoothie maker. You can see already it's an amazing vibrant green color. I'm going to blend it in two batches because of course my smoothie maker is pretty tiny. And whilst I'm doing it, I have to keep an eye on the battery level because a blender is pretty powerful and uses lots of energy. E voila! Served with some toasted seeded bread, my foraged wild willy survival soup is ready! I'm really happy to say that every single ingredient used in this soup was both organic and UK grown. This recipe makes two large servings of soup, so let's do the calculations and see how much it cost. I bought two onions that day for 42p, two leeks for 67p and three potatoes for 39p. Shameful. And I bought a packet of four seeded paninis for a pound. So one onion was 21p, one leek 34p, two potatoes 26p, and then two bread rolls for 50p. Which brings the total cost of making one pot of wild willy soup one pound and 31 pence. And this made two really big bowls, which meant that each portion was only 66p. Oh my God, 66p, that's amazing. And now for the moment of truth. I'm really impressed. With myself. Mmm. <laughs> Sticky willy. All of the properties of the wild plants that I have talked about in this video have come from this great book here, Hedgerow Medicine. So if anyone watching lives in or near the countryside, then I highly recommend that you start munching on the British springtime harvest immediately. But please make sure you educate yourself first because there are some plants out there that can kill you. I've included my wild woolly soup recipe in the description box below. So if anyone felt inspired to try it at home, then I'd really love to hear how you got on. So please let me know in the comments section. Sending lots of love to everyone through these really weird times. And as always, thank you so much for watching.
<laughs> I'm sorry. By the way, who the hell knew you could eat Sticky Willy?